In this video, I would like to discuss about splice selection. A splice is a fast, effective way to connect and secure wires into automotive harnesses. Because soldering wires in automotive harness is not good, because at high temperature it can separate, and also from vibration it can separate. Crimping splices is also faster and more cost effective than soldering. So splicing, it can be just connecting two wires inside this uh, metal shell that it's being crimped, so it's like a pin. Or you can have a higher CSA wire, you can have a thicker wire that brings uh, electricity to one point in the vehicle. And in that point, if the electricity needs to be used for multiple devices, you can have a splice and from there, from that splice, you can have uh, multiple wires traveling to each component. So splices are effective because instead of having multiple wires with smaller CSA, you will have a higher CSA wire that is going to be smaller than all of those wires together because they have the insulation which can get very thick and also you can save pins on a connector if you use splices so if you have a plus 12 volt power supply that needs to go from the front of the vehicle to the back of the vehicle but that goes to 10 devices you don't need to have 10 wires you can have only one wire traveling all those connectors so it's going to use just one pin and then at the back of the vehicle you're going to have a splice and split this wire in uh, multiple smaller wires and those splices they are being fixed inside the harness so inside the bundle many times and they are covered in tape so if the same type electrical power or ground wires need to travel from one place to another inside the vehicle there is no need to add multiple wires inside the harness bundle so even if you have a ground that can travel through the same wire so this uh, has to be decided by the device data sheet sometimes devices they require dedicated wires for various reasons from rfi to emi one wire with the right csa can travel from the ecu supply to the place in the vehicle where the device's components are and then one single wire can be split locally in multiple wires that will travel to devices so it's very simple what a splice does. Splices are mostly made out of thin plated copper and can be insulated or non-insulated depending on where it's placed in a dry or a wet area. So if the splice is in a wet area, it has to be insulated. So it's going to have an insulation over it for water ingress. But if it's not a dry area, it's going to have just an insulation for uh, electricity purposes. Vinyl, it's a low cost insulation but can crack at high temperatures and nylon, it's more expensive but is a stronger material, more durable in high temperatures. So there are two types, mainly there are two types of uh, insulation. And of course for the insulation, for the splices, you need to check the requirements and the data sheets. So there are a few types of splices, but the mostly used in automotive, they have a barrel construction. So they look like this, like a barrel. Most non-insulated bar splices provide a window for a visual inspection of your mechanical crimp as shown here at the right. So after you crimp it, you will see the wires that they are at the right location inside. Another aspect to consider is the screen and data sheet. And here we have two links where uh, you can find the splices. So you can find those links in the PDF and click on them. Or you can just uh, write down what uh, you see here. And those are found on TE connectivity and mouser which are two big uh, suppliers for uh, automotive companies around the world so this is what you need to know about splices again if you get asked at an interview usually i didn't hear too much of this being asked at interviews because it's a pretty simple device and the companies they already have this uh, nailed down to a list so it's not much to think about here or to discuss so i hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video